What's up guys, hope you're all doing well. Today I'm going to be talking about a topic in Trove that confused me quite a bit when I was getting back into the game. In this video, we'll be discussing the basics of empowered gems, including where to get them, as well as a few extra tips that I felt were important to include. This video won't cover every single detail about empowered gems, so if you have any extra questions about them, be sure to let me know in the comments section below. Also, there will be timestamps for each section in the description below. So if you already understand a specific detail about Empower Gems, feel free to skip ahead. With that all being said, it's time to get into the video. First things first, the extreme basics. Empower Gems are a type of gem that you can equip on your character in Trove to boost your overall stats. Each individual character can equip one of each elemental Empower Gem, with water being unlocked at level 12, air at level 15, fire at level 20, and Cosmic at level 25. Empower Gems come in two different rarities, Radiant and Stellar. Stellar Empower Gems are significantly more powerful than Radiant Power Gems. Empower Gems can be leveled up to a maximum of level 25 by using Flux and Gem Dust, which is most commonly obtained by loot collecting other gems. Similar to Lesser Gems, Empower Gems also have stat upgrades. However, the system is slightly different with Empower Gems. If your Empower Gem starts off at level 1 with only 2 stats and is a 2 star Empower Gem, then I highly recommend getting rid of the gem. Instead of receiving a stat upgrade at level 5, your gem will only get its 3rd stat with no upgrade. This means that at level 10 and level 15, you'll still get your stat upgrades, but at max level, your gem will only have 2 stat upgrades. If your Empower Gem starts off at level 1 with 3 stats and is a 3 star Empower Gem, this is significantly better and is the ideal starting point for your Empower Gem. Since this gem is starting off with 3 stats, at level 5, 10, and 15 you'll get a stat upgrade. This means that your max level gem will have 3 stat upgrades instead of the 2 that your 2 star gem would have ended up with. In addition to searching for 3 star Empower Gems instead of searching for 2 star Empower Gems, there are also several different abilities that your Empower Gems can have. I won't be going into specifics on what every single ability does, but I will be mentioning what abilities I feel are highly desired on most builds. I'll also be leaving a link to the abilities in the description below, in case you want to check out specifics on each ability. Your Water, Air, and Fire Gems can have one of eight different abilities. Explosive Epilogue, Volatile Velocity, Cubic Curtain, Mired Mojo, Pyrodisc, Stun Burst, Spirit Surge, and Stinging Curse. Pyrodisc gives you a small chance on enemy kill to create a damaging ring around your player that deals damage over time and gives you 30 movement speed. This ability is one of the best simply because it adds extra damage while also giving you movement speed to clear dungeons faster. Your Cosmic Gem ability can be either Berserk Battler, Flower Power, Empyrean Barrier, or Vampyrian Vanquisher. The only ability that isn't good in this set, in my opinion, is Flower Power, with all of the rest being very strong in their own unique ways. Berserk Battler gives you more attack speed and light while attacking enemies, and therefore is very good for a high damage character. Empyrean Barrier occasionally gives the player a shield that reduces incoming damage that explodes when destroyed, and is very useful if you want to increase your survivability. Lastly, Vampyrian Vanquisher gives you a chance to steal health and get bonus movement speed every time you land a critical hit, and therefore is great for mobile classes like the Neon Ninja or Dino Tamer. In the end, the abilities you choose are up to you, but different classes tend to use different gem ability builds. There are several different ways to obtain Empower Gems, many of which are limited by weekly activities. The most common way to get Empower Gems is through Empower Gem Boxes. Empower Gem Boxes have a few different drops, but the majority of drops are Radiant and Stellar Empower Gems. Empower Gem Boxes can be obtained in a few different ways. The way that I personally think is the easiest is through completing your weekly delve rewards. Completing your weekly delves will give you a maximum of 18 Empower Gem Boxes. In a quick summary on how to get Empowered Gem Boxes from Weekly Delves, first, enter a private delve or use the public delve portal at the west side of the hub world. Once you're in a delve and past depth 25, every third delve will have a shadowy soul vault 
that you can open with Delve Shadow Keys, which you can craft using the Workbench near the Soul Vault. The first six Shadowy Soul Vaults each week will give you three Lunar Souls each, for a total of 18 Lunar Souls after you've completed your 18th Delve. These Lunar Souls can be exchanged at the Shadowy Market in the Shadow Tower for one Empowered Gem Box per Lunar Soul. In addition to the Lunar Souls that you get from your weekly delves, there's also occasionally an event challenge, which will reward you with 5 Lunar Souls, so be sure to check your event quests every day to see if you have the quest. The second easiest way to get Empowered Gem Boxes is the Weekly Leaderboard Contests. In the Weekly Contests, the 3 class challenges will reward you with a total of 12 Empowered Gem Boxes if you literally just clear enough dungeons with the required classes in a week. Keep in mind, however, that you do have to own the class to complete this, and you'll only receive the gem boxes at the beginning of next week. Another more niche way of obtaining empowered gem boxes is from the Upgraded Club Adventuring Merchants. I don't personally recommend this, however, since it costs 1,200 Adventuring and will only reward you with a Radiant Empowered Gem, so you can't even get Stellar Empowered Gems from this. The last way to receive Empowered Gem Boxes that I know of is by buying them from Corruxian. Corruxian can be found under the spot where Luxian spawns in the north underground part of the hub. I don't recommend buying Gem Boxes from him, since there are other more important things to spend Chaos Cores on, but it is an option. He also sells Elemental Empowered Gem Boxes, so if you're looking for one element in specific, Corruxian might be your best option. In addition to all those regular Empowered Gem Boxes, there's also a way to get Stellar Empowered Gem Boxes, which guarantee that you'll get a Stellar Empowered Gem. To craft a Stellar Empowered Gem Box, simply head to an Adventurer's Crafting Bench and go to the Gem category. Stellar Empowered Gem Boxes require 10 Empowered Gem Fragments, which can be obtained by loot collecting Empowered Gems. I personally tend to have horrible luck getting Stellar Gems, so these Stellar Empowered Gem Boxes are essential for me to get the best gems that I could possibly get. That's it for this video, hopefully you have a better understanding of Empowered Gems after watching this. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe, and leave a comment if you have any unanswered questions that you'd like me to answer. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.